Hello there. Welcome to Breakfast All Day. How's it going? I'm Christy, and that is Alonzo, and that is Matt. Up next for us is a thriller slash marital drama on Netflix called Things Heard and Seen. And Alonzo will tell you what he has heard and seen. Indeed, I will. Uh, this is based on a novel by Elizabeth Brundage called All Things Cease to Appear, uh, adapted by the directors of Sherry Springer Berman and Robert Pulcini, probably best known for The Great American Splendor and the kind of whatever since American Splendor. Uh, Amanda Seyfried in her second Haunted House film in as many years. Remember the one last year, the You Should Have Left? With Kevin Bacon. Was, was Kevin yes. Bacon her yeah, husband? They, yeah, where they go to like Ireland or whatever. Uh, Wales. This time, Wales, Wales, <laughs> thank you. This time, it's New England. Um, it's she... not, it's upstate New York. <laughs> okay, fine, it's upstate New York. Upstate New York also the same England. thing. Our, our Wales right. and Ireland are the it's, same it's, thing. It's New relevant England to and, the story. There's, it's, it's countryside it's, and there's accents. It's about the know. Hudson Valley painters. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. <laughs> They're all right. the same. Upstate thing. New York. I stand corrected. Uh, Amanda Seyfried is uh, an art restorer, and her husband, James Norton, has just finished his PhD in art history. Um, they have moved to upstate New York, where he <laughs> is, has, has been hired uh, to teach at a small college. Um, their uh, marriage is already a little on the strained side. They have a young daughter, and then they move into this farmhouse uh, where clearly there's the it's haunted. And uh, <laughs> the more that we learn about how the house is haunted, the more we realize that their marriage is awful. And it's kind of a race to see which one of those things is going to blow up first. It's all set in 1980. Um, this is, uh, you know, I know I said this about Mitchell's versus the Machines, which is a much, much better movie, but boy, is this movie too long. Um, they take forever to get to it. And once they get to it, it's kind of interesting in terms of what happened in that house and why, how it's manifesting now and what that tells us about the way that the, the, the marriage of these two have. But they, they, they just really, really take a long time getting there. And, um, you know, it's not as atmospheric as it could be it's you know it's the same kind of haunted house shit you've seen a million times the electric surges and the things coming out of the drain and whatnot uh there is a really great cast here in addition to amanda Seyfried and james Norton. you've got natalia dyer from uh from stranger things um you've got Rhea sayhorn from uh a better call saul and james urbaniak who goes back to American Splendor with these directors. Uh, but, oh, and, and of course, and if Marie, if Marie Abraham as as the, the head of the art department. I did not expect Salieri to show up in this movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? He's actually, he's really good in this. Like he's, it yeah. reminds you like what he does well and he's the right kind of ham, you know? Like he knows how to just like be big, but also be believable at the same time. Uh, like, yeah, once, like once we get more F. Murray Abraham and once there's like talking about seances and stuff, like it, it picks up a little, but you just got to slog through so many. Oh, Karen Allen is the real estate agent, mm -hmm. by the way, but you got to slog through so many like secrets and unspoken blah, blah, to get to where it's all going. It was like, I had, I, this movie like got me to the end of my patience. And then by the time it, I, it actually started being interesting to me and engaging, I was fed up with the whole thing. And then do you see who Karen Allen's married to? Oh, yeah, Michael O'Keefe. Michael O'Keefe. Yeah. So it's an incredible cast, and I was more interested in the crumbling marriage part of it than I was in the haunted house part of it. Because mm -hmm. it really is like two separate movies that are functioning in parallel tracks. And eventually they meet up with each other at the end. But like the, the secrets between them... And what she knows but doesn't say, mm -hmm. like the realism of that to me was more effective than the supernatural, spectral, whatever. It's kind of it's kind of interesting that she's not frightened of the spirits. Yeah, like she she's welcoming to them and she wants them to feel settled. And she and F. Murray Abraham have like maybe the loveliest scene in the whole mm -hmm. movie where they sort of Bond. share that sentiment. But again, like it's two different kinds of movie and then Rhea Seahorn shows up and pretty much steals the entire thing <laughs> showing up and every choice she makes is so unexpected in terms of the way she'll deliver a line or just her her presence just her, her voice like yeah. she's just so cool and um I would like to have seen more of her in this um I didn't hate this it's getting really trashed um I just yeah. I found it 
I, I can see where the, I, I can see where the two stories that you mentioned are are intended to dovetail, but boy, they make you wait to get there. This yeah, takes a while. This felt to me like somebody somebody got the idea like, what if I put a John Updike novel in a haunted house? <laughs> <laughs> right? Would that work? And in a Shirley is, Jackson novel, <laughs> right? And the answer, right? Exactly. What if? What would be the unholy union between John Updike and Shirley Jackson? Um, and it almost works. Uh, mm. This is also this is one of the first movies I can think of that like the second act is the best part, um, which is weird, right? Like it takes too long to get going. There's some interesting, like right at the beginning, like right off the bat, we see that uh, Amanda Seyfried's character is bulimic. And so there's clearly something going on there with her and her marriage. And, and she drops some hints about like, you know, I've got to make sacrifices for him. And, and there's, there's little bits of this that are peppered into this, you know, things like we just work tenants. And, you know, like the idea that anybody in upstate New York is a tenant in some of those older houses, because the old houses are so old and they go on and on and everybody kind of just, you know, they're They'll all followers. forever. You'll die, you know? Right. And, you know, they're all followers of what's the, theologian's name oh not smorgasbord the, the, i want to say the mrs swedenborg 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 not smorgasbord um, mm -hmm. although that's a theologian i can get behind there you, um, go. you know but it, they don't overdo it like there's it flirts with the idea like is this going to turn into the wicker man no it doesn't um <laughs> it's never that weird it's never that yeah. weird like it, 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 it never quite said it's gonna get... baby but it is sort of like a little posh for you know a, a horror movie I right it, it hints that it's going to get really sexy and then it doesn't um but it's fine you know it's like this is this to me is is almost the equivalent of kind of how i feel about uh without remorse like yeah okay <laughs> like, it, I, it's okay I, I think there's a good movie in here and i think that you would it would it would require a little more chopping and a little rewriting and 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 some streamlining but yeah, I, I mean, I think you're right. The, the idea of what they want to do here and what they're intending to do is a good one. And a lot of the execution along the way is well done. And there are performances that pop and scenes that really work, but it just never quite right. becomes and, the thing you want it to be. You know? And I think part of it is the way the husband is written is that when he takes his, his kind of point of no return action, the big, big one, it's like, where did... It, that seems a bit over the top for what we've seen otherwise, right? right. And it, I enjoyed yeah. his evolution, though. That to me is where, like, if there's any tension to be had in this movie, it's nothing at all to do with the house or whether it's haunted or who's haunting it and why. But I, who he actually is and his, like, the way his veneer slips, like, because he's mm. totally charismatic and like kind of a cad. And the more you learn about what an awful person he is, like I found that more interesting than like the, the realism of that and the Amanda Seyfried character coming into her own at the same time. There's more gripping tension in what's going to happen in their marriage than there is in like, oh, are the spirits going to settle or not? But I think, but it's more, I think his evolution is more interesting in terms of what other characters learn about him and what things that come to light more than his performance of showing us this guy, you know, revealing himself to, to being who he really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's more, it's more interesting in the scenes in which other people have conversations or, you know, make discoveries than anything he's doing. I thought he was good. He's fine. But I mean, I just, the, in terms of that character evolution, I was more interested in yeah. it in, 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 as reflected through other characters. Right. The, other thing, that, the other thing about that, about his evolution is that, the movie puts that the house has an influence on his evolution, which I think is unnecessary as a story mm -hmm. point. I think that actually is the wrong move, but yeah. Yeah. he was and a shit it, before they got there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Makes sense. <laughs> also, Amanda Seyfried has the perfect face for horror. Oh, with her so, giant eyes. This True. giant yeah. eyes. And like, there, there are a couple of different shots where like you, something spectral is like passing over her eyes and she's just taking it all in. And she's like, she's so magnetic and so expressive yeah. that she's a, a great fit for this I, kind of material, which makes you wish the material were juicier. 
exactly i wish somebody would put her in a better one of these because you're right she is mm -hmm. she's totally made for this so yeah. yeah wait i'm saying five and a half i said five and a half as well mm -hmm. it's a five and a half kind of week yeah five and a half let's do it so it's five and a half um things <laughs> heard and seen is on netflix and the original title of the book this is based on is all things cease to appear which is a much better title i think than things heard and seen the passive voice of things heard and seen. <laughs> yeah, like when I, I when I got to Netflix last night to watch it, I could not remember the title, so I just put in Sherry Springer Bergman because that was the <laughs> that was the thing I could remember, you know. So eh. and American Splendor was amazing, you guys. It was so yes. innovative and so cool, and that was like twenty years ago. And they is sadly they've never like matched the brilliance or the innovation of that. Yeah, to this day, like I think one of the great biopics of all time. And I, mm. I, I when I, I have taught that movie before, and I said here. Here's the test for your biopic. Can the actual person walk in and out of this movie and seem at home? And that's what they do in American Splendor. So yeah, if you've never seen it, give that a look. Uh, thank you for watching us. Uh, check us out on uh, the social media at uh, be fast all day like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on uh patreon at patreon.com slash be fast all day hey there's a new season of the handmaid's tale on hulu have you heard uh they dropped the first three episodes so christy and i are going to go deep on those today and uh we'll be following the whole season four as it uh unfolds in the coming weeks so check that out and all the other amazing exclusive stuff we have for our patreon subscribers thanks for watching see you next time bye